The uniform of leadership is thick skin. You know, I watch the politics and the political debates, and I think, how, and I don't care which side, how, how can they handle the attacks all the time? How can they handle that many people just hating them? Whichever side, I hate the blue, I hate the blue, I hate the blue, I hate the red, I hate the red, I hate the red. It's unbelievable, like, wow. About 80% of us in the middle are just like, you got 10% over here screaming and yelling, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got 10% over here screaming and yelling, yeah, yeah, yeah. And 80% in the middle, like, oh, we feel like, can't we all just get along? I mean, you know, you kind of like that, right? Isn't there like some, some, some space in here where we can just be buddies? You know, this is crazy. And I wonder, well, you know, but if you're going to be great, you're going to polarize a little bit. You just are. Let me show you something else I learned. Did I mention that month of Italy book yet tonight? <laughs> all right. There's a, there's a website called Goodreads, and it's one of these new social networking sites. They've got over 10 million people involved on Goodreads, and it's a social networking site, kind of like Facebook or something, but a lot less about you, and it's more about books for people that are interested in books and literature. And so anybody who's ever written a book, our books are in there, and then everybody and their brother gets to rate the book and write up a review, and some people say some powerfully dumb stuff, and this one lady really ticked me off. One lady. I mean, there's, hundreds, there's tons of people saying great stuff about my book. One lady, literally one lady, says something bad. I'm like, <laughs> uniform leadership, thick skin. How come she's getting through my skin? She's, she doesn't get it. I'm going to call her. Get her phone number. You know, just, I'm kind of kidding. But what they have, what they have is a rating system. Five means you love the book. Four means you, you really, I mean, five means you loved it. Four means you really liked it. Three, you could take it or leave it. Two, not so much. One, you hate it. And it's interesting because I really learned something. So, Lots of people, bless their hearts, have, have clicked five on my book. And if you haven't yet, go to goodreads.com and click five. <laughs> and then there's some fours and a couple of threes, you know, losers. And then, <laughs> and then the one lady on a one who just didn't get it. And, you know, I was looking at that and I thought, isn't that interesting? Because every book that seemed to have a lot of fives had a couple of ones. Almost nobody just has this. Something's wrong. They're milking the system or something, right? If it's all just fives, right? It's not totally right. But you know what's interesting? I would rather have this, like a little, like it's inverted, right? Like up here, here's what I want to teach you. It's for these people. When I wrote that book, I'm just using this as an example. It's for the people who love it, who appreciate my very perfect sense of humor. <laughs> who realize the genius of my sentence structures, right? They just get it, right? Just get it. Anyway, it's not for those who it's not for. Right? It's for who it's for. It's not for who it's not for. I would be worried if it looked like this instead. Right? If everybody's like, eh, and a couple of these, hardly any of these, and a couple of these, hardly Like, which one, which one is excellence? This one. The only place you'll ever find excellence is if you dare to polarize. Now, you don't dare to polarize by intentionally trying to be disharmonious, by intentionally trying to be offensive. But I'll tell you this. Life is kind of funny. Not our life, not the life company, but life that you live. <laughs> it's kind of funny because... That you, if you right now, if you wrote down the five things that, that you feel the strongest about, you know, apple pie, you know, whatever it would be, God, country, apple pie, the American way, whatever you would write, there are people that live in your county that are against those as passionately as your forum. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Now, there might not be many, but there's going to be some. It's just the way life is. See, we're naturally built to conform. We're naturally built to seek consensus. I watch the political thing and I, sh I, like, I wince a little bit like, man, you guys are embarrassing us in front of all these other countries. Like, come on, let's put, but, but that, and maybe that's a peaceful, harmonious streak in me, but it's also a little bit wrong because they're taking a stand too, right? And it's, it's polarizing and who's to say, God's got the ultimate authority. He'll say in the end which was right and which was wrong and none of us are total, absolute, perfect judges ourselves. But you, to be excellent, you're going to have to work on this. Focus everything you got into getting your gifts out 
living the authentic you. Don't conform trying to please those who it's not for. Perform trying to thrill those who it is for.